which camera is right for you. We're gonna find out right now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Film Rationale. And today we're gonna to discuss what camera is right for you and which one you should get. Now there isn't a single simple answer to this question. Why? Because there's so many different circumstances and variations of which camera you might need to get. Now cameras for up to $200 and under, maybe you're just starting out on YouTube, you wanna maybe go around, shoot some video with your friends, do some vlogging and stuff, maybe you're recording some gaming videos, whatever. I recommend something along the lines of the Canon PowerShot ELPH series. Those are great cameras and they shoot in 720p HD video for around a little over $100. If you want to spend a little extra cash, there's some Canon PowerShot cameras that shoot up to 1080p HD video. Also look around for some other Canon PowerShots too, so. But the two ones I'm showing on the screen right now, I recommend most, depending on your budget. Now, of course, with the Canon power shots, you won't have the best audio, but that's a topic for another day. But whatever you do, whatever camera you get under this price range, do not, I repeat, do not get a camera that uses AA batteries. Trust me, because if you take that on vacation and you shoot video with it and you're using those kind of batteries, even rechargeable batteries, you're going to be spending at least half of your vacation money on batteries. Trust me, I speak from experience. Now for budgets for $300 to $600, maybe you want to do something a little bit more serious than a hobby? I put some links to some Canon Vixia cameras, but one I would personally recommend is the Canon T5i. It's around the same price as the T3i, which I would recommend, but it's discontinued now. But it's around the same price and shoots the same quality as the T3i as it was sold back then when I got it. I've had this camera for three years and I love it. I absolutely love it. It was the best decision I ever made in my life. All right, put away the kids, or if, or unless you make money. So if you're at the top of the line and you make a good amount of money, whether through YouTube or you know your production company, freelance business, whatever, I put some links for the top of the line DSLR cameras and a couple camcorders in there as well. For the DSLRs, I recommend the Canon. I recommend at the low, at the latest, at the latest for a thousand dollars, for around a thousand dollars, the Canon 70D DSLR with 18 to 135 millimeter kit lens, Canon 70 Mark II, and if you want to jump to full frame, you can get the Canon 6D. Or if you want to go to the top of the line, you can go to the Canon 5D-S. Side note, why does everything have S in the middle? Seriously, it's kind of annoying. And one last camera for those who want to go all out and you're spending a good amount of money on your videos or whatever is the JVC GY HM600 Pro HD camera. This camera is great. Uh, we actually have this exact same camcorder at school. It's got two XLR ports, place for a shotgun boom mic or nat sound mic, whatever you want to call it, 30 frames a second, two SD card ports, and yes, it does use regular SD cards or doesn't use tapes or anything like that, which is amazing. Really good camera. I highly recommend it for those who have the money to spend and the means to spend it. And that's another thing. If you're not do if you're not making money off your videos, I don't recommend spending a lot of money like on a camera like this or even a camera like mine, the Canon T3, which was about $600 for the body at the time it was purchased. If you're just doing this as a hobby, I would recommend just the Canon PowerShot cameras and some of the Vixia cameras I'll recommend down below. Don't feel the need to get a high-end HD camera because it looks cool, and it does, but if you're not going to make your money back with it, it may not be worth it. Consider the law of diminishing returns. It means the first thousand dollars you spend, just as an example, on video equipment does a whole lot to improve your capabilities than the next thousand dollars, and the third thousand dollars you spend does even less. So. Now, I'm no expert in economics or anything, but it is pretty true.
but after you make some money on your video projects, you will want to invest a smart amount of money on new gear to improve your capabilities to that next level. And, of course, with natural wear and tear of gear, you will probably need to replace them eventually. Like my Rode microphone, I might need to replace that eventually because it's getting a little wobbly and not right and everything. All right, folks, that does it for me. Please check out the cameras below. Let me know what you think and let me know what topics you want me to discuss here on Film Rationale. That's it, guys. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and all my other social media accounts. All right, guys, that does it for me, and I will see you next time on Film Rationale.